Bringing a make-believe world to life through stop-frame animation takes a large and talented team, which includes writers, directors, animators, set and prop makers, camera crews, and of course, puppet makers, who create, maintain, and repair the puppets. To see how stop-frame animation works, let's rewind this scene, which stars Timmy and features a red balloon. The director takes the writer's script and breaks down each scene of the episode into a series of shots. This shooting script then goes to the storyboard artist, who draws each shot of the scene on a digital storyboard tablet. For each scene, the director prepares a set plan, detailing the background elements, the puppet placement, and the camera angles. The storyboard artist sends his drawings to the editor, who works with the director to edit them into an animatic, a still drawing version of the episode. Actors, meanwhile, have recorded the dialogue in a sound studio. Now, the editor cuts that dialogue into the animatic. The visuals in this soundtrack must be perfectly synchronized, because the animators will use the animatic as a frame-by-frame -frame guide for moving the puppet's bodies and lips. The show's animators refer to a large schedule board to see which scenes they've been assigned to animate. A printout of the animatic shows all the episode shots at a glance. In the art department, construction of the episode's costumes and props is well underway. To make a few red balloons, for example, the prop makers sculpt one out of molding material and use it to produce a hard silicone mold. Then they pour thick setting resin into the mold cavity. After the resin has hardened overnight, they open up the mold and extract the casting. They drill a hole in the bottom. Dab some glue inside. Then insert a small triangular peg, also made of quick-setting resin. This forms the tied balloon end of the balloon. Now, a coat of gray primer. Then, once it dries, red paint. When the paint dries, they drill another tiny hole at the base of the balloon and insert a strand of flexible copper wire wrapped in cotton thread. This is the balloon string. The team of animators shoots several scenes concurrently. Therefore, in the puppet department, model makers produce multiple puppets for each character, plus lots of extra body parts. Certain puppet body parts, such as hands and wings, are made of silicone with a wire skeleton within. After forming the wire to shape and applying a base coat of silicone, the puppet maker lays it in a two-part mold, then fills both cavities with silicone. She closes the mold, clamps it tightly shut, and leaves the silicone to set overnight. flexible wire skeleton at the core enables the animator to position the hand or wing various ways. In stop frame animation, the more movable the puppet and its facial features, the more lifelike the animated character appears. The animator moves the puppet incrementally for each frame they shoot, and 25 such frames produce just one second of animation.
Timmy's torso is a polyurethane foam core dressed in a wool coat. It has channels for interchangeable wires that support his head and arms. His head is made of resin, his arm silicone over a wire skeleton. Timmy and his friends' faces can express a wide range of emotions, thanks to interchangeable mouths, flexible ears and blinks, an assortment of exchangeable eyelids conveying expressions from wide-eyed to cock-eyed. These facial features attach either magnetically or with tacky wax, a flexible quick-release glue. The puppet maintenance team packs each character and its parts in a travel box, then sends it to the animator on the studio floor. During shooting, the animator changes the facial expressions as required. While their work does indeed require great technical skill, the animators are actors who, under the director's guidance, perform through the puppets they bring to life. The puppet's legs must be sturdy enough to support the weight of the upper body when the puppet is standing. So the leg skeleton is made of metal rods connected with ball and socket joints. The feet are metal plates, hinged to allow movement. Just like the flexible wire skeletons, this metal skeleton also goes into a mold to be encased in silicone. The arms attach with square section brass tubes so they can be easily interchanged with a few turns of an Allen key. Certain puppet movements require rigging. A rig is a device that enables animators to raise the puppet off the floor of the set to perform jumping and skipping. The animator can incrementally lift or lower the rig to any height and lock it there. There are many preparations before shooting begins, such as lighting, puppet positioning, and set dressing. Using the animatic playing on a monitor as a reference, the director and camera operator frame the shot. Meanwhile, the set dressers prepare the next set, gathering whatever scenic objects they need from the set dressing kit. To create these objects, artists first sculpt the shapes out of modeling material. They create a mold from which they produce copies in fiberglass or quick-setting resin. Then they paint the copies. With the set dressed and approved, the animator can begin. With great care referring to the animatic, he positions the rigged puppet. Then with the push of a button, he shoots a frame, or an animation lingo grabs the frame. Next, he moves the puppet incrementally and makes slight changes to body positioning and grabs another frame. 25 consecutive frames equal one second of animation. The animator's art is knowing how and by how much to move the puppet to create lifelike movement. To get special close-up facial shots that they'll later intercut with the full body sequence, they sometimes set the puppet on a rig positioned directly in front of the camera. Once they've shot the animation, they take what's called a plate, a shot of the set with puppets, props, and rigs removed. They send the plate digitally to the editing suite, where the editor uses the visuals to cover up the rig, essentially erasing it from view. This process is called compositing. A little bit of behind the scenes artistry to create a whole lot of on-screen magic. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.